The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, second chapter, text number 14, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August 20th, 1973, in London, England. Translation O son of Kunti, the non-permanent appearance of happiness and distress, and their disappearance in due course, are like the appearance and disappearance of winter and summer seasons. They arise from sense perception, O Skyan of Bharata, and one must learn to tolerate them without being disturbed. This is very important verse. In the previous verse, it has been described, Dīnas Mindhikādi. Actually, we, living entities, we are within the body. Uh, the bodily pains and pleasure are not the pains and pleasure of the soul within. It is simply uh, obhini base, it is called obhini base, absorption or misidentified. The example I have given many times, just like uh, you are sitting in a nice motor car, another man is sitting on a rickshaw, I have seen in India. So the rickshaw has come in front of the nice motor car and the driver is asking that man to join the rickshaw. You rickshaw. And he is thinking he is sitting in a nice motor car, so he has become a motor. And the man who is drawing the rickshaw, he has become rickshaw. This is the position. Actually, the man who is drawing the rickshaw, he is also human being. And the man who is sitting in a nice rolls royce car, he is also human being. But the rascal, because he is sitting on a rolls royce car, he is thinking I am a rolls royce and he is rickshaw. Uh, this is material conception of life. That according to the body, we are becoming designated, not as the soul. So try to understand this very good example. Because that poor fellow, fellow is drawing rickshaw, he has been taken as rickshaw. And because I am sitting in a rolls car, I am thinking I am rolls car. So this bodily concept of life, when we get out of it, that is real knowledge. Pandit. Pandita samadarsino. Vidya vinaya sampanne brahmane gavi hastini sunikhe ta sapate. Pandita samadarsino. Pandita means those who are learned. Learned means brahma, not sudra. Sudras, they are not learned. Mrecha, Javana, Sudras, Kirata, Hunanda, Pulinda, Pukkasa, Abhiraja. So many. Learned means Brahma. Learned means that one who knows that Brahma. Brahma, the spirit soul, is part and parcel of the Supreme Brahma. So one who has come to that knowledge, uh, that I am not this body, I am spirit soul, Aham Brahmasmi. That is knowledge. Knowledge begins from there. Uh, if one does not reach to that point, Aham Brahmasmi, then he is animal. The animal, thinking like that, I am rickshaw, I am papa, I am cat, I am dog, and this and that. That is the animal thing. But a person learned thinking is 
that I am not this body, I am part and parcel of the Supreme Brahma, Aham Brahmasmi. And when you are farther advanced from Brahma knowledge, the knowledge begins from there. When you make farther advancement, then you can understand that I am eternal servant of Krishna. This is perfect knowledge. First of all, knowledge begins that I am not this body. Sarvapādhi ginin muktam tatpārattena nirmalam rishikena rishikesa sevanam bhakti rucca. So long we have got this bodily concepts of life. I am rolls royce star, I am rickshaw, I am American, I am Englishman, I am this, I am that. So long we are in ignorance. The same example. The man is not rickshaw, I am not motor car, but I am thinking like that. I am asking that poor fellow rickshawala scornfully because I am sitting in a very nice car. This is going on. But when you become learned, pandita samadarsana. Samadarsana means one who is learned, he knows that although he is pulling rickshaw, poor man, he is also a human being, and I am also sitting in a very nice, costly roadside. I am also a human being, and human being we are the same. So Dehi Nasmi, Jathadehi, all of us, the living entity, so, is within this body, not this body. So one who has realized this thing, that I am not this body, I am spirit soul, I am living by nature's arrangement, I have been allowed to live in such and such body, uh, then he is learning. Uh, that is the beginning. So Krishna, uh, from the previous verse, that is the actual spiritual education. Uh, in the world, these rascals are going on spiritualists. They do not know the very first thing of spiritual knowledge, that I am not this body. Mm. Uh, they are uh, doing so many sinful acts on account of this body. Still they are going as religious or spiritualists. Nobody is spiritualist unless one understands his spiritual identification. Uh, neither uh, one is religious. Uh, therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, the last word is Sarvadarman Puritajya Mami Kamsaranamoya. Because you rascal fools, you have created so many religious systems simply on the differences of God. That is not religion. Real religion is that I am the Supreme Soul, Parabrahma, Krishna, and you are my part and parcel. So we have intimate relation, like father and son. So it is the son's duty to obey the father. That is what we say. Sarva dharma and paritrajya mahami kaṁ You have created so many religious systems on the bodily concept of life. Bodily concept of life so strong that in big big learned so-called religionists, they say that the animal has no soul. The bodily concept of, because a human body is very much advanced, has got the uh, power to kill animals, therefore they are speaking this nonsense that the animal has no soul. Why the animal has no soul? What is the symptom of possessing soul? I am spirit soul, I am within this body. Everyone can understand. Uh, understand or no understand. If I am a human being, if I have got my soul, why this poor animal has no soul? Why, why is the difference that you say that the animal has no soul? Where is the difference? Let us analyze. Uh, so the Existence of the soul within the body, 
how we can understand. That is very easy. Because uh, Jena Sarva Vidam Tatam, everything is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Jena Sarva Vidam Tatam. The soul is existing, uh, spreading its influence all over the body. Uh, just like the sun is existing, spreading the sunshine all over the universe. Uh, similarly, God is existing, uh, spreading His consciousness all over the universe, all over the creation. Therefore, he knows everything. Similarly, I am also part and parcel of God. I am also soul, like the sun. My shining, my consciousness is spread all over the world. Jena sarma vidam tapam. Avinasi tutad vidhi. Jena sarma vidam. This thing, sloka, it will come. That thing, which is spreading all over the world. That is Aminasi, that is eternal. Antavartu uh, deha. But this body is antavartu. It will, it is perishable. But within the body, the soul, which is spreading its consciousness all over the body, that is eternal. We shall come to that verse later. Aminasi uh, tutadavinti, jena sarva minamda. <clears throat> Therefore, the proof of the soul existing is that the consciousness is spread all over my body. As soon as I pinch any part of my body, I feel pain. Therefore, I understand the soul is there. That's like a man who is going to die. The doctor is examining. He sees the pulse, he sees the heart. Yes, it is beating. That is a sign that is still the man is living. Similarly, uh, the soul is there. The proof is that I can feel pains and pleasure on my body. That is explained in this verse. Matra for sasu tone. Actually, the body uh, in touch with the consciousness, feeling, pains and pleasure. Otherwise, body, what is this body? It is a lump of matter. It is a lump of matter. Earth, water, fire, air, material combination of matter. That's why you make one door. Huh? Combination of matter. Huh? Earth, water, fire, huh? or no fire. Yes, still there is fire. Because you dry it in the sunshine, therefore there is fire. Earth, water, fire, and there is air, there is sky, but there is no soul. That is the difference. He can prepare a door with earth, water, air, fire, all these things, material elements, but he cannot give the soul. That is not possible. That is possible only by Krishna. <coughs> Aham, Gardham, Dadam, Aham. Just like man or woman. Actually, the woman is giving the ingredients of developing body of the child. But when it is possible? When the man gives the seed. Otherwise, a woman could produce a child without the aid of a man. No, that is not possible. When the seed, with the seed, the soul comes. And when the soul is situated in the womb of the omen, the omen can assist by supplying the ingredients to develop the body. Janmana, karmana daivanatrena janta diho abhupattai. So, by nature's process, when one gives us this material body, the subtle body is there, mind, intelligence, and ego. The subtle body carries the soul, and it is just. Now this soul, where it will go? Ah, then the whole calculation is taken. 
what it is, assets and liabilities of the life. Doi vane treno by superior judgment. Just like a man in an office, in a business concern, when increment is given or promotion is given, the whole assets and liabilities are taken. Anywhere. Anywhere a man is promoted or degraded, when all the liabilities and assets are taken and judged, yes, this man has done nice. So give him promotion. And if he has not done nice, degrade him. Or don't give him promotion. Similarly, we are getting different types of body according to our karma. Karma not, otherwise why all living entities are not of the same merit, same feature of the body, same position, same thing? Why there are differences? This is common sense. With varieties of body, varieties of position <coughs> is due. That's like the same example. The poor man has got only rickshaw, and the rich man has got a Rolls Royce car because he has paid more. Similarly, if your work is nice, then you are promoted, promoted to higher standard of life, just like in the heaven. Abrahma Bhuvana Lokan or in the Brahma Loka. But your if your work is sinful and abominable, then you are degraded to cats and dogs. Udanga Chanti Satvasva, those who are advanced in this. Because here everything is quality. Everything. You go to purchase anything in the market, you will see the quality. First quality, second quality, third quality. Similarly, all living entities, all souls, they have got qualitative body. Qualitative body. So, the first quality body you can get in the higher planetary system. The second quality body means you have to remain in the middle planetary system. And the third quality body you go down. Or go down means you become animal trees, insects, birds, bees, like that. This is going on. So that according to the body you get pains and pleasure of this material world. A very rich man, living very comfortably, a little painful thing is intolerable by him because he has got a such body, so delicate body. Just like a child, because he has got delicate body, little pinching makes him cry, uncomfortable. So it is all due to this body. But the soul is different from the body. So Krishna is trying to convince or John that why you are hesitating to fight. Do your duty, your uh, so-called grandfather or so-called guru, uh, as you say, uh, your teacher, they are not this body. Uh, so in this fight, if you, if your grandfather or teacher is skilled, why you are lamenting? Uh, they are eternal, that is also explained, that they were existing in the past, they are existing at present, and they will continue to exist. Simply the body will change. So why you are lamenting? Rather, it is a great facility that your grandfather has got now uh, an old body, he is not very comfortable, and he will get next life a very new body. So it is good for him if you kill him. Of course, that is not the point. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> you cannot kill without any reason. That is not fine. But here it is fine. It is duty. Uh, they have come to kill you, and the khatriyas, when they, their, their determination is when they go to fight, either to own victory 
or die. Not returning back then. No. If a khatriya is hard on the back side, he is degraded. It must be hard on the chest, front side. That is khatriya. That means he has fought nicely. Uh, there is injury on the breast, on the chest, uh, not in the back side. Back side injury means he was clean. Uh, so khatriya's determination is either you own the battle or die in the battle. That will be explained. Uh, if you own the battle, then enjoy, you have got the kingdom. But if you die in the battle, you go to the hill. Because you have fought for the right cause, uh, you will go uh, to the uh, So killing, killing is very bad. But killing for the sake of right cause of fighting, or killing in the sacrifice, they are not <coughs> sinful. There sometimes in the Vedas, killing is recommended, just like in the fight or in the sacrifice. But that is not sinful. Sometimes a brāhmaṇa is sacrificing, offering, performing great sacrifice, and the animal is put into the fire just to give a renovated new life, not for killing, just to test how Vedic mantras are being properly pronounced. That will be the test. When sacrifice is done, the fire is there, an old animal is put into the sacrifice, and he comes out with a new body. That means the breathing mantras are being pronounced very properly, and it is being carried out. This is the experiment. Not for killing. Although in the Vedas there are recommendations that Pasavo uh, Madhaya sister, just like in the modern age also, when some experiment is made, it is made on the life of the animal. But they are kept. But when there is recommendation of putting an animal in the fire, that is not for killing. Uh, that is to see that this animal has got a new body. So, on the whole, one has to understand that this, we are not this body. I am not this body. And if we feel bodily pains and pleasure, that is bodily pains and pleasure, that is not the pleasure and pains of the soul. The soul pains and pleasure is being put into different body and out of ignorance because he is identifying out of ignorance that I am this body. Therefore, soul is in pains and pleasure. Otherwise, the soul has no pains and pleasure. Asangayam purusa, in the Vedas it is said that the soul has nothing to do with this body. Asanga. Asanga means without any touch. But out of ignorance, he is thinking the same example. Out of ignorance, the rascal is thinking that he has become Rolls Royce. And if the Rolls Royce is broken by some accident, he becomes overwhelmed. Oh, I am lost. Where you are lost? Your car is lost. Oh, this is going on. Oh, the car is lost. Oh, therefore, when one becomes Brahma Bhuta, actually realized, Self-realization, that is called. Na sochati, na kāṁsati. There is no more lamenting, no more hankering. Because, because I am not this body, why I shall hanker after this body the comfort? Whatever Krishna has given, that's all right. <coughs> but there are so in the bodily concept that we just simply seeking body and sensuous in the this is material world. All fools and rascals. All materialists are fools and rascals. Murha, they are called murha. Tamanga duskitana murha prapadana te naranama. Because they are fools and rascals, they are committing sinful life, becoming entangled in the transmigration of the soul in different types of bodies and perpetually suffering. 
Because as soon as you get this body, you suffer. Either white body or black body or yellow body, it doesn't matter. Either man's body or uh, animal's body. As soon as you get this body, you must suffer. This is the punishment of nature. You must suffer. A king cannot say that because I have got this queen's body, king's body, there is no suffering. There is nonsense. You have to suffer. Jarmavati Jarabhadi, at least these sufferings must be there. The sufferings of birth, sufferings of death, sufferings of disease, and sufferings of old age. There must be. Either you become king or you become a dog or you become a cat, it doesn't matter. Even if you become Brahma, Abrahma Bhuna Lokan, Pradava. This is the Kula. Therefore the problem is how to get out of this bodily entanglement. I am a spirit soul. Somehow or other, I have fallen in this entanglement of bodily transformation. Uh, then Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, Anadi karama phale pari bhava nava jale tori vare nadekhi upam. Somehow or other, I have fallen in this ocean of birth and death. I do not know how to get out of it. Just like if you are thrown into the ocean, however expert swimmer you may be, that is not your comfortable life. You have to swim all along, otherwise immediately drown. Similarly, as soon as you get yourself in this material world, you have to struggle for existence. You have to. If you want to stop this struggle for existence, then you must get out of this material existence. That is the problem of life. Anadi karama phale pari bhavan nagajale tori bare nadeshi pa. That means Chaitanya Mahapuru teaches us. Oi nanda tanaja patitam king karangamang bhishame bhavam budho. My dear Lord, nanda tanaja, saram, nanda maharaj, Krishna, I am your eternal servant. Somehow or other I am now fallen in this material ocean. Oi nanda tanaja patitam king karangamang bhishame bhavam budho. Bhishame. Very ferocious danger, ocean of this material existence, I am fallen. Although I am your servant, some or other I forgot, I have fallen now. Then, Ai Nanda Tanuja Patitam Kinkanam Mang Bhishami Bhava. Kripaya. Now I am seeking your mercy. Kripaya, Tavapada Pankaja Sthita Dhuli Sadisam Bhishim. Now take me again, pick me and make the one particle of dust of your lotus feet. This should be our prayer. No other prayer. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not teach any other. Nadharangana janangana sundari inkavitang vajagadi sabhita. People generally pray for material benefits. So God give us our daily bread, give me nice position, give me nice wife, make me nice fallen, this or victory, so on, so on, so on. Simply for material benefits. Oh. My Guru Maharaj used to say that if we pray to God for all these nonsense things, it is just like a man goes to a king and the king says, oh, what about you, what you can ask from me? And if the man says, kindly give me a pinch of ashes. Oh. It is like that. If we uh, ask from God, for some material benefit, it means that I am asking from a king a pinch of us. When king says that you ask, huh, whatever you want, he can say, give me half the kingdom. That should be the prayer. Huh? Huh? And why a pinch of us? Huh? Oh. Similarly, it is our foolishness. When we ask for bread, oh God, give us our belly's bread, huh? that means uh, I am asking, the bread is already there. Uh, why for you? For everyone, for all living entities, the bread is already there, given by God. Eko jo bhunam vidudhati kama. 
The elephant is not going to the church for praying, give me food. He is supplied in the jungle, food. The tiger is supplied food. Uh, even ants is supplied food within the hole. Who is going to supply food there? How they are eating, how they are living, how they are begetting children. The same thing is there. Ahara, Nidra, Bhaya, Maitha, everything is there in the end, in the elephant. So who is supplying their necessities? So, this is not the problem, these rascals. They are simply perplexed with this problem. How to eat, how to sleep, how to defend. This is already fixed up according to your karma. You simply try, save your time, how to advance in Krishna consciousness. That is your own business. Uh, otherwise you are spoiled. Uh, and so far these things are concerned that uh, how to eat, how to sleep, how to have a uh, sex life, and how to defend. This is already arranged. You cannot make betterment in this uh, way. That is already fixed up. Prakite kriyamanani kunai karmani sar. According to your Lord, according to your karma, you have been fixed up. That you shall eat like this, you shall sleep like this, you will have sex life like this, and you will be able to defend like this. Not more than that. That is not possible. That is called destiny. Uh, so, by destiny, this is already fixed up. Don't spoil your life for this thing. But people are anxious for this thing. This is calling knowledge. Therefore, this Hastra says, Tashayvahita prajatita kol. You are transmigrating from so many bodies, this body to that body. Now you have got the chance, human body. Now you can read Bhagavad Gita. Now you can learn from Krishna what is the problem of life. It lies for that purpose. Don't be perplexed with this problem of this body. Therefore Krishna says, Matras parasasya sitosna sukha dukkhara. You should know, just like this, uh, summer season comes, you should know it has come, it will go. Out. The winter season has come, it has come, it will go. Out. So, just to try to protect yourself as far as possible, but you are not affected by such summer season or winter season. You should not be affected. Uh, uh, this like in India, the temperature is sometimes 120 during summer season. Does it mean people will stop all their work? Or in your country, in the western country, the winter is so strong that sometimes below zero. Fatigue. Does it mean that all of his work, everything will be stopped? No, you have to do your duty. Uh, similarly, although Arjuna is advised, although you are feeling little pains that you have to kill your own man, so that is coming and going. You have to do your duty because it is a uh, real fight. This fight is under my guidance you must fight. That is your duty. Don't be bothered of this matra. Matra means the skin, touch. Uh, but people are after the uh, skin disease. Uh, just like sex life. What is this sex life? This is also another skin disease. Eating of the skin and you satisfy by loving it. That's all. Uh, so, Vishayata Bhira, Bhira, one who is sober, one is advanced. He little tolerant that eating sensation and be happy because this is not my necessity. This is only of the skin. It is my skin disease. So I am not this king. I am so. My decree is how to serve Krishna. Thank you very much.